How's it going everybody? My name is Grovana. Welcome back to Let's Play More When This is Part 6. And you may be asking yourself, why in the world am I staring at the ground? Well, a lot of you know that I have recently installed the Overhaul 3.0 mod, which greatly increases the graphical quality of this game, as well as various gameplay mechanics. But I'm more concerned with the graphical quality. So, if you haven't been watching up to this point, take a moment, go look at one of the previous episodes, take a look at where we are in Balboa, take a look- Oh, man, it ruined the surprise. I didn't realize it was going to do this. Anyways, yes, this is the graphical overhaul uh, 3.0 mod, and as you should notice, everything looks way, way, way better. I I, I don't know, it, I haven't really seen a lot of this um, so far, but I think it looks kind of like Oblivion. Maybe even a little bit like Skyrim. I don't know. We'll definitely see. Let's just look at the water. My god, man. Basically, I installed this to make it playable. Um, the graphics were having a really big impact on the enjoyment I was having playing through this. And as unfortunate as that is, I just couldn't get past it. Uh, it was a really ugly game. It did not age well. But we're just going to go ahead and keep moving here. This uh, mod does add a whole bunch of different stuff. Like screaming people inside of a house, I guess. What the f um, anyways, let's take a look at our inventory. You'll notice that I've been given, like, directions to Kai's Cassades and probably other stuff that I haven't seen. Storage keys, so I guess there's storage. Like, this mod adds, like, so much different stuff. Um, but we'll sort of, like, go through it as we, as we see the stuff. And you'll notice in the bottom left there, the ring icon has changed as well. Regardless, what are those noises? I don't know if it's going to come out in the video. Oh, I think, like, yeah, it, it adds, like, a whole bunch of stuff, like, including various noises and things. It's, it's really cool. Um, so let's take a look at our journal here. Uh, we were doing this quest. Ida's Fire Eye told me she has a 250 gold bounty on the orc Dura Grabol, who lives in Balmora. We basically just need to kill her. This is going to end our business with the Fighter's Guild for now. What is that? There's like a cat screeching. It's so weird. Um, I'm not used to this stuff. Anyways, here's her house. I think we're going to enter sneak. I really need to figure out like how to toggle that. And you'll notice that the loading times are now going to be like on par with Oblivion pretty much. Which kind of sucks, but whatever. Okay, it is in toggle mode. Sweet. So I think the mod like automatically makes it in toggle mode. Um, press F to ready our weapon. Now all I need to do is like install x and map out my controller because this is really like ruining the experience for me too, playing this with the, with the uh, keyboard. It really sucks. Um, Alright, so let's try and find the- god, this is a big house. Yeah, so this person is a criminal. There she is. We just need to kill her. I guess she's not going to- let's see what she has to say first. Greetings, citizens. I'm Duragro Ball. Welcome to Balmora. Oh, she's nice. Look at that. Um, well, you can die for me. Yeah, what? You're wasting my time. Fighter's Guild... Uh, this is weird. She's like talking to me about Fighter's Guild. I guess she doesn't realize we're here to kill her? But let's do that, shall we? So we'll just stab. That was easy. Okay. So, I don't... Is, there, is our journal updated here? Uh, I guess not. Let's make sure we kill the right person. Dura Grove Bull. Yes. Okay. And what do you have, Dura? Uh, just bunch of random crap all right let's go back to the fighters guild so i just want to so i just wanted to uh, show you this area too you guys have seen this area a lot and oh my god this mod makes it look so much better it's funny i didn't want to install this at first because i thought it wasn't that big of a difference i know people said it was but i don't know i saw screenshots or something it didn't seem like that big of a difference i guess my pc makes a difference because a lot of people were probably running it on a uh, crappier pc than what i have you'll also notice the models have been like greatly improved like that's like, I don't know, that's even better than, that, that kind of looks like Elder Scrolls Online in my opinion. Um, but yeah, this mod's just wonderful. I don't know if you guys can notice, I don't know if you'll make it out on the screen, but it does the Skyrim thing where like, if you're focused on an NPC, the background will blur too. It's really nice. Okay, let's take a look at Itis. Uh, Ow, she's looking a lot better. With you. Welcome. Thank you. Um, Dura Grow a Bold. I heard that Dura Grow Bowl is dead. Here's your 250 seconds. Your journal has been updated. Wonderful. Now we can advance. Your devotion to the Fighters Guild is not in question, but you still require more experience. Okay, I guess we can advance. Um, what about orders then? I don't have any orders for anyone under the rank of protector. Find me when you need. 
Find out what you need for advancement. The guild stewards at Vivic City, Sidrith Mora, or Aldrin might have some work for you in the meantime. And we can't advance, can we? No. So we are done for the moment for the Fighters Guild. I guess we could continue if we really wanted to. I don't really want to at all. So now what we're going to do is head back to Caius and get started on the main quest. God, I, I really hate Valmore. I don't hate it, but I just hate how like I never know where the hell I am in it. I guess... Caius is like over there. I, I guess I just haven't been paying attention, but we'll just walk over there so you guys can take this in. I don't know if you've noticed, but in the background, the background has been like magnificently like redone. Jesus, like look at, oh my god, this game looks so much better now. Um, the reason I didn't install it up until this point was I just usually don't like playing with mods. I like playing the game, how the game was made by the developers. When I have a mod, it just doesn't make me feel like it's canon if that makes any sense and that's not knocking any people that like playing with mods it's just not my thing but this one i felt like it had to be done for the sake of the let's play and i know a lot of people want me to do it so let's talk to caius even though i think we might already have what we need but you guys can take a look at him he looks a lot better Please, too by all means i'm listening are you here to discuss your orders yes i am let's go over that orders get the information about the nereverine Nereverine, yeah, that's how we're going to pronounce it, because we're going to hear that name a lot. Um, secret Cult and the Sixth House Secret Cult from Hasfat and Tablus, like I told you, so he did already tell us. Uh, I believe this guy's in the Fighters Guild. He's real master of the Balmora Fighters Guild. He lived in Morwen all his life, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so we need to head back to where we just were. Even though we, I mean, we could have just taken care of it, but I kind of wanted to roam about Balmora just to show you guys the extent of this mod, and this is just Balmora. Um... And in my opinion, Balmor is like one of the ugliest towns in Morwind. And even though this does look like a lower income town, it still looks gorgeous with this mod. And the water is so well done. You have to hand it to modders, man. Like, they just put so much work into a game that they haven't even developed. It's just crazy, and I really tip my hat off to them. So, let's head back to the Fighters Guild, which is where? It's right here. And are there anything in these crates that we should find? Some gold, but I'm not sure if that's like considered stealing or not. Okay, so now we need to find Hass, Fat, and Tablis. And we found, I, th I believe, the last series I did where we only did the two episodes, I believe it ended when we went to go to that Dwemer place that he asked us to go to. Um, I, Please, I think he's in here. Means, no. Uh, there you are. What shall we okay, talk? good day, journeyman. So you're with Caius, eh? And Caius wants information. Of course there's this for that involved. I require a favor first, and then I'll tell you what you want to know. What is this favor? There are Dwemer ruins nearby called Arking Thand. I need you to run over there and find me a little cube with a circular design and some symbols on one side. It's called a Dwemer puzzle box. Bring me back the Dwemer puzzle box, and I'll tell you what you want to know. Okay, let's just run through this stuff. Uh, blah 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 blah. It's a shame that we're gonna miss out on a lot on a lot of the lore um, But that's just how it has to go in a let's play because I think the main quest of oblivion is like one of the main quests Ever in any Elder Scrolls game. I, I just remember I was really enthralled by it as a kid when I played through what this the I first time I don't know Again, that might just be the nostalgia glasses. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to find my way to this place, and uh, then we'll take a look where it is on the map so anyone playing along can find it as well. I will see you guys at Arking Thand. Alright, so why don't we just, like, showcase some of this mod off as we're walking to Arking Thand. By the way, for anyone following, basically what you want to do is head east out of Bruma on the road, and I guess we'll just follow this. Um, I think that might be it in the background. You can see, like, some towers over there, and I think this is Fort Moonmoth, if I'm not mistaken. Can we see it? It is Fort Moonmoth. I think we need to go north of Fort Moonmoth, though. So you'll notice, like, the floor and the fauna have been super, like, well done, recreated, and all that. Like, oh my god, this just looks so much better. This is gonna be a whole video of me just, like, loving this. Molag Mars is this way. I'm not sure if that's where we should be going, but we're going to follow this road for a little bit anyways. Um, let's just see if we... Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's where we want to be, and apparently this place is ginormous. And apparently there's also a bridge up ahead that might have a guy that wants to do us harm. I think this might be the bridge. Yes, and is there indeed a guy? It looks like there is a guy on this bridge. And apparently from what I've read, this guy is going to utilize summons to attack us or something. What are you doing, buddy? Okay, and he's summoned a skeleton. Yes, so we're gonna pull an oblivion and just go after the main summoner guy here. What is all this crazy noise going on? Oh my god, please don't kill me. Please die soon. Please die soon. Please die soon. 
Wow, this guy has like a billion health. Thank God. Okay, goodbye skeletons. Alright, that worked out. Is that like a frozen cliff racer in the distance? I think it was. Okay, let's uh, unequip that. Let's take out our magic ring and heal up a little bit. That's weird. It's saying I have no charges, but I do have charges. Now the ring has changed a little bit. Maybe this is the mod, like you can't activate spells as frequently as you used to be able to. Okay, so the icon changes. Oh, it's getting darker, I see. So there's a cooldown now, so that actually made the, the game diff more difficult. Okay, I'll take it. Whatever. Let's loot the uh, Snowy Granius. What a douchebag. Just waits on a bridge for uh, people to walk by. Okay, uh, I th this should lead like right up to Arkenthand, I think. Let's take the gold. Wish the mod made it so like the gold is automatically added to your inventory. That would be nice. Is there like a hotkey for take all? There has to be. Oh, that works. Okay, let's head up here. I think the last time we did this, like I went the complete wrong way and it was like so hard to get to the entrance. This should be the entrance though. I hear a noise. Oh, it's a, uh, what should we call it? What are you called? Kwama, right? Yes, Kwama Forager. And what do you have? Kwama Cuddle. I don't care about your Kwama Cuddle. Um, Dwarven Crank, I think this opens the door. Yes, alright. Into Arcing Thand. Hopefully we won't have to do too much. Oh god, it closes automatically too. Look at that. Okay, so now we are in Arcing Thand. And from what I've read, this place is ginormous, but... To get to the puzzle cube, it's not that difficult. What is this? Torch high quality. Interesting. Weight two. We can afford that. Unless it's two for each one, in which case we can't. Okay, let's put that in there. Alright. Moving on. A lot of you guys are saying that I should uh, up the brightness, by the way. I've mentioned this in a comment before. Um, it's like no matter what I do, when I upload PC captured footages to YouTube, it always darkens it. I, I have no idea why, but I will try and bright... I will t try to brighten this video and see if it changes anything, but I have a feeling that when I upload it to YouTube, it's going to be just as dark. Alright, we have two guys here. Jesus, this looks so much better. Alright, we're missing like every stab. Alright, that guy wasn't difficult at all. Alright, neither of those guys were difficult at all. Surus Velvis, what do you have? Steel Dagger, Common Belt, and some gold. Let's take the gold. That's all I care about. And what about you? Frank Ruse. And you have some gold as well. Okay. Now, let's see here. We can go that way, or we can go this way. Where does this lead? Weeping Bell Hall. Pokemon. Weeping Bell Hall. And I'm assuming this as well leads to Weeping Bell Hall. I don't think that's the right place to go. I think we want to go back the other way, or at least climb this rock. Yes, I believe... It said that we could climb this rock and get to the right place. Can we not get on top of that rock though? I think yeah, yeah, we definitely want to head up there. So let's actually unequip that. Head up here, and now what do we have? We have cells of hollow hand. A rusted Dwemer cabinet which holds Dwemer coin and Dwemer cog. What are we in? Skyrim? And uh, is that the only place that we can head into? I guess so. Not sure what's over there, but we're going to forego it for the moment. Let's head into... What is it called? Souls of the Hollow Hand. Alright. Okay, we have another guy here, and his name is... Looks like we can't see it at the moment, so we'll just circle him and stab him a bit. Please don't kill me with your big axe, mister. I'm just here to get a puzzle cube, that's all. Thank you. Alright. Let's uh, use this really quickly. We need definitely a better source of healing, that's for sure. Okay, what do you have, boss Krito? Uh, looks like you have a couple of potions, which is definitely something that I want. Shadow, that might... Okay, actually, no, it's only 5%. I don't think that'll come in handy. Cure common disease, that'll definitely come in handy. Scroll of Undusi's Unhinging, open 40 to 60 points on touch. We definitely want that. We're also going to need to visit like a, a shop or something and trade or sell all this crap that we have. Triton Helm. Why do I... What do I have equipped? Triton Mask Helm, right. Okay. Uh, 11 gold. Yes. Not 11 gold. What is it? 31 gold. Okay. Alright. Um, so I think the puzzle cube should be in here, if I remember right. Let's see if we can't find it. Is that it right there? Yeah, see, that's the thing about, like, Morrowind. Like, the stuff is so incredibly, like... It, they don't just, like, have quest markers everywhere. They don't, they don't just, like, make it obvious. Like, look, I mean, so many people are going to pass this up, but this is what we want. 
Your journal has been updated. Good. Okay. So, I guess we could, like, further explore Arcing Fan. Oh my god, this makes the game look so much better. I am so glad I downloaded Overhaul. I, to be honest, I didn't want to do it also because it sounded like it was a pain in the ass to install. It wasn't really that hard at all, really. Uh, it was pretty cool, actually. Like, it's pretty automated. And it the program, like, takes control of your mouse and keyboard to, like, auto-do stuff that most people wouldn't know how to do, such as myself. Um... And basically, to give you guys more insight on the mod itself, it's like... Is this... Where the hell are we going? That does not look like where we want to go to. Did we just, like, go the opposite way? Where we came in from? I guess we did. No, didn't we come from there? Or did we come from the bottom floor? Okay, maybe we just were supposed to go... Or did we... I'm not sure at all. I... Let's see what's down here. Anyways, yeah, the mod itself is like a huge combination of a whole... But see, right here, this should be like pitch black on YouTube, I think. And I have a feeling this is definitely not where we want to be going. Yeah, this is not where we want to be going. Um, okay, so I'll finish my explanation about this mod, and then we'll just head back to Balmora. But, uh, yeah, this mod is like a giant combination of a whole bunch of different programs and mods that sort of makes it into a nice little package that's easy to install. So for anyone playing through this... I should I suggest like downloading it from the Nexus mod manager which I used for some Skyrim mods and um, then just like running the execute make sure you download it into where you're like if you have it on Steam go to where the Morwin file is located and download it into that and uh, yeah I, I'm not the best person to tell you guys about this I'm just not because when it comes to stuff like that I'm pretty bad anyways we'll head back to Balmora and then we will uh, see what Kaius has to say to us yeah, so just for future reference, right here, my screen is pretty dark, but this is just the normal game on YouTube. Like, when I fully render the video and everything, it's going to look exactly like this, but when it's uploaded to YouTube, it's going to darken it by a lot. Why? I have no idea. I've tried looking it up. It's just been a problem that's remained for so long, and I have absolutely no idea why it does this. Uh, it's only with PC footage, too. It's, like, never from when I use, like, my HD PVR to record console footage. It's only PC footage. But this time I will try and brighten the video itself within the video editing program. Like I said, it seems to like not matter whatever I do. Whenever I upload it to YouTube, it just automatically darkens it by a lot if it's PC footage. I don't know why, but uh, yeah, this is just like a comparison so you guys can see that right now, hopefully it's just not as dark as what it looks like. Or it's not as dark as... What am I saying? I'm saying hopefully it looks like my screen that I'm looking at right now and not super incredibly dark because of YouTube. Okay, we are back uh, in Balmora. What's going on over there? It looks like, like flames are being shot out. What the hell? I think that's just like a texture thing. Yeah, it is. It's the bridge. Okay, um... Let's head back to Caius' house, which, what, should be like over here, I think? Up this little staircase? Yes. And uh, then we'll end the episode here and uh, see what else we got as far as the main quest goes. Hello, Caius. Oh, oh, crap, what am I doing? We need to head back to Hasfat first. Duh. Alright, why the lead? I don't know if this guy's the leader, but I mean, he's in the Fighter's Guild. Why he couldn't just walk into Arking Than and grab this puzzle cube for himself, I have no idea. Nevertheless, quite a bit of trouble around. favor. A healer can help Perfect, just what I was looking for. Just let me take this Dwemer puzzle box, and then I'll tell you what Caius will want to know about the sixth house and about the Never Ravine. Never By the way, the inscriptions on the box seem to be the directions for setting a Dwemer key to open a specific lock. If you're interested, after you deliver your report to Caius, come back and maybe I'll have a key you can take back to Arking Than. So I guess we'll get a side quest from this dude. Um, Alright, so I guess now we need to inquire about the Never and the sixth house Nereverine the Ashley I'm just gonna go through this normally I wouldn't read this all but uh, this is pretty important to the plot so we're gonna run through this real quick the Ashlanders believe a reborn never of Nerevar will unite the Dunmer against the outlander invaders and restore the ancient dark elf nation dark elven nation Nerevar is a legendary hero and saint of the temple but the temple denies the prophecy and prosecutes heretics who believe in the Nereverine tell Caius that Sharn Gra Muzgab would be a better person to ask about the native faiths and superstitions okay and what about the sixth house 
The House Dagoth is the sixth house, the lost sixth house. In the first age, House Dagoth betrayed the other great houses during the War of the First Council and was destroyed for their treason. I can answer any questions you have, but I'll also give you some notes to give to Caius and recommend some sixth house references he should read. And we've been given the notes, and I think that's what allows us to progress in the main story. Let's just run. Dagoth Ur is the main protagonist. Hopefully we know that by now, and I didn't just spoil that. I'm pretty sure we... Yeah, that's the guy that we're trying to stop. Hopefully I didn't just spoil that. I think he just told us that. Anyways, let's run through this just to make sure that uh, we have everything that we need to tell Caius. And we're going to end this episode here. So every episode is going to look just as pretty as this episode. I don't know. It's kind of like a mix between The Elder Scrolls Online, Oblivion, and even Skyrim for me. It definitely looks way better than the original game. Like, not even close, in my opinion. I, I can't believe I didn't, I've never played this. Uh, in all honesty, why is this person talking to me? I am a sleeper, one among thousands. I bring you a message. Dagoth Ur calls you, Drulani Vanalis, and you cannot deny your lord. The sixth house is risen, and Dagoth is its glory. Okay, are you going to attack me now? Oh, it's you. Yes, you just told me that. Thank you. Alright, goodbye. Um... What was I saying? Yeah, the mod is amazing. I love it so far. I'm looking forward to see all the places and what the mod has to offer, and hope you guys are too. Thank you for watching. My name is Rovana, and I'll see you all next time. Bye. Hey everyone, if you enjoyed that video, help me out by liking it, adding it to your favorites, and sharing it on Facebook and Twitter. If you want to go the extra mile, go ahead and follow my social pages as well as my Twitch channel. The links are in the description below. Finally, if you want to subscribe and or watch another video that's probably going to be related to this one, you can click the big ol' annotations on the screen. Thanks for stopping by and have a great day!